Hi Bilal, this is Michael from OTC Online TOEFL Course dot com and you are one of my TOEFL writing boot camp course students Hua. and uh, you you sent me this is the second writing practice test that you've done since you joined my boot camp course and uh, I'm gonna do some error correction on this essay I'll give you a basic estimation of what your score is and we'll go from there okay so uh, I have the rubrics right here and I think I'm, I'm comfortable putting you between four and five here so if you look at what we have I gave you a score 4.25 out of 5 27 points out of 30 I think overall you have a, a pretty good essay right so let's take a look so do you agree or disagree with the following statement dancing plays an important role in the culture use specific reasons and examples to support your answer so uh, I gave you 4.2 27 points out of 30 let's take a look at each paragraph now you see the world has witnessed several altercations in different walks of life such as anthropology psychology technology and social norms while some people struggle to keep pace with these modifications others smoothly surrender cultures are not immune from these changes and the arts of these cultures are not secured as well loosely the role of dancing a type of art I'm going to just make this singular, is a debatable issue because some people do not consider its importance in their culture while others appreciate its benefits. Undeniably, I believe that dancing has a crucial role in a community because it helps people to express their feelings and resembles each culture. Okay, so that's the beginning, right? Now, some of this, I'm seeing you're recycling this from the first essay, so I don't think that's a good idea. Now, the IBT Human Raters will not know you're doing that, but I think you want to look at each writing topic as a little bit different, and then you want to try to introduce it in a way that uh, I like how you have your thesis here. It introduces your four points, but I'm going to recommend some minor changes uh, to that. So with the introduction, instead of what you said here, right, I'm going to give you more of an original one. So you, I, I don't want you to think that you have to use a certain type of template for every type of writing task. So in this case, I just took the word culture, I gave a definition of it, and gave some examples of culture, and then I, and then I made a transition to dance, which is a type of culture. So I said here, culture can be defined as the values, beliefs, and norms that societies deem important. Some cultures value punctuality and time as being important, whereas others believe people and relationships are more important than punctuality. Moreover, cultures express their beliefs through majestic architecture, such as mosques, temples, and other ch chapels of worship. Another way to express a culture is through its dance. Indeed, the role of dancing, a type of art, is a debatable issue because some people do not consider its importance in their culture while others appreciate its benefits. Undeniably, I believe that dancing has a crucial role in a community because it helps people to express their feelings and resembles each culture. And how about resembles the core values of each culture or something you might say. So that's that would be my change. I mean your intro is good, but I noticed I saw a lot of that introduction in the first practice test that you sent me. So what you can do is when you're trying to think about the introduction is look into the actual writing prompt. Is there anything in there that you can define, you can give an example of, something you can do in the introduction that's a little bit broader than the topic to help you get started? And that's when I saw the word culture, I figured I could probably do something with that. That's how I started is what you see here. All right, let's keep going. First of all, dancing encourages people to unleash their emotions. In addition, it is a common feature of any celebration when people need to show their happiness. For example, 
in wedding parties a groom and a bride a groom and a you want to say bride not pride a groom and a bride dance together a first dance to celebrate their lifelong commitment and to show their warm feelings to people who also dance in the same manner to express their love to the new couple. Also, students celebrate their sense of satisfaction by dancing in their prom parties, wishing a prosperous future and feeling proud of what they've accomplished. Graduate students dance with their peers and friends. Wow, this gives you some big points right here, my friend. Yeah, you put that participial phrase before the subject and the verb of the sentence there that gives you good syntactic variety. Excellent. Says uh, graduate students dance with their peers and friends. Thus, dancing offers people, you might say, opportunities, make this plural, opportunities feel happy and satisfied. Crucial opportunities to. I'm going to say express happy and satisfied emotions. I'm going to put emotions in there because notice how I, I put it here and then it ties back to what we said here. So it allows people to express happy and satisfied emotions. Or crucial spirits for healthy cultures. If you want to make it plural, I guess you could do that. Crucial spirits for healthy culture. Uh, the next one. Dancing is one of the features which represents each culture. Different kinds of arts build the type of culture. And you only the, the word and is not introduced in what's called a compound sentence. So notice how you have your dancing is. No, different kinds of arts build and have. So the, the actual subject here is kinds and have a direct influence on the people living in this community. Dancing plays a critical role in showing this type since each country has its own style or moves or its characteristic dances. For instance, Egypt is famous for the belly dance, well, Latin America is well known for the salsa and the tango. When people visit a country, they enjoy watching its unique dance, which represents part of the history of, of the culture. Yeah, but the question here is, I don't think you've fully made a complete connection here. So, what does the belly dance say about Egyptian culture? With your second paragraph, I'm going to add a little bit more depth to your paragraph, especially when, it, when you get to the belly dance here. So let's see the changes I made here. Second of all, dancing is one of the features which represents each culture. Different kinds of arts build the type of culture and have a direct influence on the people living in this community. Dancing plays a critical role in showing this type since each country has its own style or moves or its characteristic dances. For instance, Egypt is famous for the belly dance, which is a torso-driven dance with a heavy focus on movement of the hips. So I added this description in there. It says, when people visit Egypt, they can enjoy watching this traditional Arab dance, which, according to many historians, has a history going back thousands of years. In addition to being a performance art showcased by skilled dancers, the belly dance can be performed at celebrations and other social gatherings by normal people of all ages and genders. In whatever context the dance is performed, the belly dance represents something that is uniquely identified to Egyptian culture. Right, so I think this would strengthen this paragraph. You talked about the other dances in South America, but I wouldn't even bring those up. I like the belly dance. This is, this is a big one. 
this is a great example. You just didn't take you didn't take enough time to fully develop the idea. That is my suggestion there. Okay, let's look at your conclusion. In conclusion, life in the 20th century is only for the scrupulous, conscientious, meticulous, not for what the <coughs> people. No one can reap the fruit of life without understanding the importance of dancing in a culture. Consequently, I definitely believe that since people need to demonstrate happiness and have a patriotic kind of art, dance is important for cultures. And then you restate the purpose, right? But this area here, I don't think you need this, right? So we could probably add a little bit more there. And you could just say something like this. You might say, well, many important cultural attributes are critical to a country's identity. No one can reap the fruit of life without understanding the importance of dancing in a culture. Consequently, I definitely believe that since people need to demonstrate happiness and have a patriotic kind of art, dance is important for cultures. And there you go. So you kind of restate uh, the question there. Okay, so let's look at it one more. I still think you have a, a good essay. I, I think you're probably between 25 and 27 points. That would be my guess right now. Uh, your control of your language use was exceptional, absolutely exceptional. Uh, I added a little bit more to the one paragraph on daily, band, uh, be, belly dancing to show uh, how that kind of tied back to the writing prompt, which is why dancing is important to a culture. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's go ahead and read it one more time, and I think we'll be good for today. It says, um, and with, with the arrangement that we have, uh, I will do one error correction video each week for you, right? Now, if you send more practice tests than that, uh, I will simply give you a score with some basic feedback on those other ones. But I will do it one error correction video each week each week because I actually charge $50 for this service because it takes me about an hour to do it. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. Culture can be defined as the values, beliefs, and norms that societies deem important. Some cultures value punctuality and time as being important, whereas others believe people and relationships are more important than punctuality. Moreover, cultures express their beliefs through majestic architecture, such as mosques, temples, and other chapels of worship. Another way to express a culture is through its dance. Indeed, the role of dancing, a type of art, is a debatable issue because some people do not consider its importance in their culture, while others appreciate its benefits. Undeniably, I believe that dancing has a crucial role in a community because it helps people to express their feelings and resembles the core values of each culture. Now, the only change I made in the introduction is I don't want you to repeat the same sentences from one writing practice test to the next. Uh, that's what I call templates. If ETS thinks you're using templates, they can give you a lower score because that's not what the TOEFL is trying to test. It's not testing your ability to memorize certain sentences and use those over and over. It wants to see your authentic, kind of spontaneous writing under a time constraint kind of thing. So be careful that you're not using the same sentences over and over and over from one practice test to another, and you certainly don't use any memorized sentences uh, on the TOEFL exam. Uh, okay, let's go to the next paragraph. First of all, dancing encourages people to unleash their emotions. In addition, it is a common feature of any celebration when people need to show their happiness. For example, in wedding parties, a groom and a bride dance together a first dance to celebrate their lifelong commitment and to show their warm feelings to people who also dance in the same manner to express their love to the new couple. Also, students celebrate their sense of satisfaction by dancing in their prom parties. Wishing a prosperous future and feeling proud of what they've accomplished, graduate students dance with their peers and friends. And this is one of the reasons I'm giving you a higher score here. That particular sentence is uh, exceptional. Very, very well-written sentence. Uh, thus, dancing offers people opportunities to express 
uh, happy and satisfied emotions, crucial spirits for healthy cultures. Second of all, dancing is one of the features which represents each culture. Different kinds of arts build a type of culture and have a direct influence on the people living in this community. Dancing plays a critical role in showing this type since each country has its own style of moves or its characteristic dances. For instance, Egypt is famous for the belly dance. So notice here, this paragraph is stronger than the one before because this one example, just the example is almost a hundred words. Here, you have one example, you talk about wedding parties, but you really don't spend that much time developing. You spend 43 words on that one, and then you talk about the students dancing you got 33 there. It's better, in my opinion, I would rather you take one example and then really develop that one, that one idea. And that shows a little bit more depth and complexity of thought. Uh, you have, um, Egypt is famous for the belly dance, which is a torso-driven dance with a heavy focus on movement of the hips. When people visit Egypt, they can enjoy watching this traditional Arab dance, which, according to many historians, has a history going back thousands of years. In addition to being a performance art showcased by skilled dancers, the belly dance can be performed at celebrations and other social gatherings by normal people of all ages and genders. In whatever context the dance is performed, the belly dance represents something that is uniquely identified to Egyptian culture. Then our conclusion. While many important cultural attributes are critical to a country's identity, no one can reap the fruit of life without understanding the importance of dancing in a culture. Consequently, I definitely believe that since people need to demonstrate happiness and have a patriotic kind of art, dance is important for cultures. And that's it. So I think overall, I'm not really going to recommend any specific lessons. If you wanted to look at one lesson, you might go to writing the perfect paragraph in the writing section of my online course. And you'll see in the example there, uh, or in the paragraph, the, the writer only uses one example within that paragraph. So what can you learn here? Don't repeat or use any kind of a template that you plan to use on the TOEFL exam, especially if this template came from, say, my website or TOEFL resources or Noteful or anywhere else. Because if you're using it from a public domain, then it's likely that the IBT numerators will see other students who have also used exactly those same sentences and that's going to cause you trouble for your TOEFL writing score. So that's what you want to be careful about. Now, if you created the template yourself, right, and it's unique to you, and no one else has ever seen it, then no one else is going to use it, then the IBT human raters, when they read your essay, they're not going to recognize that as being a template. But in this case, the, the way that you did the introduction, it, it just didn't quite fit that well, the beginning of it. That's why I changed it. It didn't quite... It, you, you raise a topic and you engage the reader's interest and then you kind of narrow that uh, to the thesis, right? But what you did in the beginning, I didn't think it fit that well. That's why I changed it to make it where it fit a little bit better with the topic that you were writing about. All right, and uh, thank you for doing this writing.